Let's learn how to hold and identify the gag grouper in your Tampa Bay. There's yellow. I want to show you guys something. I often hold up these groupers for people to take a photo with them, and they're like, how did you not get your finger all sliced up? Because if you reach your finger up inside a gag grouper, he's got plenty of plates and spiky gills to get you. There's all kind, like right here, here's a nasty sharp gill plate right there. Listen to this. Eh, well, you can't really hear that. Uh, nasty gill plate. So if you get in on the inside of the gills right here, there is a nice soft spot, and you can pick that fish up without cutting yourself up right in there. But if you get anywhere inside there, you're gonna get cut up right there. See, look at that. We'll look at it one more time. Oh, he's still mad. I gotta let this guy go. A uh, grouper are really funny because they flare out their gills when they get caught, uh, hoping that they can snag themselves. Okay, so you see how I just lift up on this like soft spot right here? And I'm just gonna put my finger into that little nugget hole and you can hold his ass up like once from the front see him finding his nice soft spot I'm gonna run my finger up that line where there's no sharpness no sharpness no sharpness find that little nook hold that fish up put him in the water and say catch you later I want to go over exactly what makes a gag grouper. You know, a lot of people misidentify grouper, and there's one specific thing on the gag groupers that will always give its identity away, and it's when you get right down close and you look at the fins, you see this white, beautiful streak? See that white streak on the fins right there? That is indicative sign of a gag grouper. That Just that white line at the very tippy tip of the fins. A black grouper, which is what this commonly gets confused with, will have black tips on the fins right here. Particularly anal fin and this fin up here, this uh, semi-dorsal. What do you call this after? I guess that's still part of the dorsal fin, even though it's all the way back here. Big old paddle tail. You can see it on their paddle tail, too. You see that beautiful white streak at the at the back of the fin there. I'll try to put it on that black background so it looks a little more obvious. Beautiful, beautiful gag grouper. Uh, this one's a little short. A little short. We're just number 33. What is this? 34. 34 for the year. 34 shorts for the year. Catch you later. 25 inches of gag grouper, one short, one keep, Tampa Bay, USA. Those are fun. I want to do that again. Yeah, man. <laughs>